In this video, I'm going to show you how to ask the user a question and then check to see if their answer is correct or incorrect. I'm going to show you how to use the ask and wait block, the answer block, the equality operator, and the conditional statement if else. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. Scratch has a built-in block that allows the project to ask the user a question. And that block is found in the sensing palette. And it's called the ask and wait block. Now it's up to you as the coder or the creator of this project to figure out what you want to ask the user and then what to do with their answer once you get it. So just to give a simple example, if we ask the user, what's your name? We may want the sprite to then say it back to the user, hello, and then put their name there. Now to do that, I'm gonna have to use some more blocks that I haven't shown before. So in the operators palette, we can actually create sentences by using the join block. So we might say, hello, and then we want the user's name to show up here. But as written, this actually isn't going to help us out much because we have to use a block that Scratch is using to store the answer that the user gave. So I actually have to go back to the sensing palette and I have to bring in the answer block. Now I want to modify my sentence just a little bit. I'm going to remove the exclamation point and put in a space. And this is what I want to say back to the user. So when I click this script and I run it, it's going to ask, what's your name? So let me just type in Mr. G. And when I hit enter, it should say, hello, Mr. G. And it does. Answer is kind of acting like a temporary storage container for the question. So when the user gives an answer and hits enter, it's stored an answer. And the reason I said temporary is because if I ask two questions in a row, so let's say I ask, what's your name? And then I ask, what's your age? If I run it now, it's going to ask me for my name. So I'm going to type in Mr. G. And then what's your age? Let's say I type in, I don't know, 100. It's going to say hello 100. So the answer that was storing my name actually doesn't exist anymore. It's almost like it disappeared. So in a future video, I'm going to show you how to store the answer in something called a variable, which is a more permanent storage container. But in this video, I'm going to keep it a little bit simpler. And I'm just going to ask a simple mathematical question. What is 12 minus 7? And then I'm going to wait. So I know that I'm going to have to use the answer somehow so I can check to see if their answer is correct. And to do that, we're going to use a conditional statement. So I'm going to use the if else. And the reason I'm using if else is because I'm going to check to see if the user gives the right answer. But if they don't give the right answer, then I'm just going to tell them that they're wrong. Now, in order to check to see if the answer is correct, I can go into the operators palette and bring in the equality operator. So the equality operator will let me check to see if the answer equals what I expect. So 12 minus 7 is 5. So I'm going to see if the user gave the correct answer, which equals 5. And if they did, I want to tell them, wow, you're an intelligent human being. That's correct. But if they're wrong, I want to tell them, keep studying, bro. Now I'm going to test my script out two times. First, I'm going to give the correct answer, which is 5. And it says, wow, you're an intelligent human being. That's correct. And now I'm going to run it one more time and type in the wrong answer maybe six. And it says, keep studying, bro. So using the ask block and a conditional right after, we can do some really cool stuff in our projects. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.